Hello again, Michael Friedrich here from beautiful North Carolina, enjoying a spectacular fall day. Today's shave is going to include some new old products. These are old products that are new to me. In fact, never been out of the wrapper and never even been used. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to get my face wet. We'll start talking through the products. So just give me a moment here. Now, I know that for some of you, you'll be uh, horrified to see what I'm going to do. You'll be sitting in your chair at home watching this, hoping to enjoy something delightful. And then when you see this, you're gonna realize, oh my God, what is that idiot doing? But I'm gonna do this anyway, because they're meant to be used. So I am going to be using for my blade today, these delightful advanced persona, five blades for 79 cents. They come in this very cool metal holder, plastic and metal obviously. Slip your used blades in the back. I'm really curious to know that once this is empty, maybe I could reuse this to restock with blades. I don't know, never tried it, don't know. I'm pretty sure these are the same blades that Big John Halleck got 30 shaves off a single blade. I don't know that I'll be that lucky, but can you imagine 30 shaves, a month worth of shaves, five shaves for 80 cents? So yes, I already have that loaded and my trusty Razor Rock Stealth Slant. So that's an old new thing in a new new thing. Number two, which came in the same set of gifts from Moises Barrera, and thank you so much, is this vintage stick of Williams. Now I know, I know that right now there is somebody who's beginning to feel chest pains shooting pains down his left arm, is probably wondering if his wife and kids could call 911 quick before it ends too badly. Um, but yeah, I am gonna use this. These things are meant to be used. I'm not a vintage soap collector in the sense I'm gonna hold on to this forever and hold, have it as a, a treasure that'll just be sitting unused in the shelf. I'm gonna use this stuff. And it comes in this really cool kind of holder. The bottom screws off. And then, as you can see, it, it flares out. So this shave stick actually is designed Right, has a, a flared end so you can just restock it, screw this end cap back on again. Look at that. Very cool. All right, this is it. This is the Virgin Unwrapping. This thing's never been opened. It does have a very distinct smell of roses. This is the old stuff, the good stuff, the true beloved Williams. Here we go, there's no turning back now guys, this is it, moment, moment of truth. Ta-da! That looks really pretty good, doesn't it? That's got a nice yellow color to it. All right, I'm going to wet my face again and start up. Oh, I've really been looking forward to using this. I've just finished off, a few days ago, finished off the uh, the puck of the Wickham soaps. Been waiting to use this since then. I was sort of trying to remind myself of how many shave sticks I've actually used, and well, I've actually used that many shave sticks. And actually, that's really not true. Okay, I have wet the tip in the sink, and now I'm going to apply. I don't know really how much to use because the soap is a little old, maybe a little dried out, but. So for shave sticks, I do actually have a bit more experience than I was giving myself some credit for. The palm olive shave stick, which I think may still be selling for 50p or so in the UK. That's an amazing deal. Quite like that. Wow, this does have a nice, still has a detectable rose scent. It's sort of heavily, sort of dense floral, add tight Buns Williams. Smith is probably just right now just wondering how he can get his hands on one of these. Sorry, brother. All right, so there's that. Now, Razor Rock Amici. I'm gonna give this a whirl. Let's see how this soap lathers up. 
Might need to apply some more. We'll soon see. People rave about this vintage Williams. So, the scent, the performance. Well, let's go ahead and see. All right, so for shave sticks, I'm probably gonna need to use more of that soap, but let's see what we can do here with what we have. Get a bit more water going. Yeah, palm olive shave stick, very nice. Uh, the Vergulde Hand, which I got from Danny Van Royen. That's also obviously a classic shave stick, shave soap from the Netherlands. Also wonderful stuff. Very nice, clean, soapy scent. Oh yeah, that's, that's going very nicely now. Add a little bit more water in just a moment. Arco Shave Stick, that was not really for me. The performance in terms of lather was, was very good, but just for me, the scent was a little difficult to overcome and in the end too drying on the skin. I know people love it and I say power to you, more for you. Spike Shave Stick, I really like that. Excellent shave soap. All right. Wow. Well, I'm not sure how old that soap is, but you know what? That's still doing pretty well there. Two days worth of growth. Brand new Persona Blade in here. Persona 74, I think, with some special kind of comfort coating. And that comfort coating is DuPont Vidax. Old blade and a relatively new razor. Wow. That is nice and smooth. That soap has got a nice glide to it. I think the last shave stick I used was the Latoya. Great scent. Oh no, yeah, like the shape sticks. Easy to use, easy to travel with. You know, people definitely have different ways of loading them. Whether you're rubbing it on your face directly or holding it in your fist and sort of lathering off it straight off that. I also held on to the uh, to the plastic container that the Latoya came in, and the Omega Bambino brush fits right in there. Great little travel case. Well, I gotta say, so far. This combination of old and new. Very nice. I hope for those of you that almost uh, almost bit it when I was unwrapping and using that Williams for the first time of magic, you know, come back to us. Yeah, a nice light floral scents actually. Not overwhelming, not too perfumey. All right, now let's rinse and get a feel for how slick that is. Great test of soaps. Start to rinse your face and get a feel for that. Yeah, residual layer slip as it's on there. Uh -huh. All right. Pass number two. 
Yeah, there's a bit of interesting history actually to the Williams thing, a kind of a weird company connection because in fact, the company I work for, GlaxoSmithKline, in fact, at some point, as SmithKline beats him, actually owned a subsidiary, made Williams soap before it was sold off, and it's gone through quite a number of sort of corporate corporate moves from company to company. Obviously the current the current version of Mug Soap is nowhere close to this. We did a pass around for that in the big shave and uh, yeah that was uh, not for me. I know that those people that love it, and I say again, just like with the Arco Power to you, that you know the soap is readily available, it's still sold all over the place. If that soap works for you and you love it, great. All right, pass number two. This is gonna be cross the grain. Nice slick soap. All right. Well, what else is going on besides the fact that I'm using this treasured piece of shaving history? <laughs> and that's it. It's ruined for life. Well, not much else going on in some ways. Playing a lot on the Xbox for those of you that might be playing Destiny. You're having to grind your way through. Yeah, bit of a grind, but still having fun every day. Uh, if you're wondering, I will not be growing a mustache for November. I will, however, be uh, contributing to some funds, particularly for people that are members of the Big Shave. You may remember I grew one last year. And, uh, well... I use that in part, you know, to help raise some money and awareness for those members of my family that have in fact had prostate cancer or other forms of cancer. But there was great rejoicing when that mustache came off. Uh, I think I also use that particular shave to demonstrate to people who are wondering about how easy or how effective, you know, a traditional wet shave might be. I shaved off that 30 days growth of my mustache in about five or six strokes with the slant, completely gone. No way you're doing that with the cartridge. Just not gonna happen. Wow. Well, I gotta tell you, this is really still very slick, rich soap. A world of difference between this and the and the current puck. Oop. Yeah, that. I'm not sure if that happens to anybody else, but sometimes you put your brush down the edge of the sink and it's soapy and it just tends to slowly start sliding down into the sink. And if it actually falls into the sink, that's kind of disastrous. All right, here we go. Against the grain pass, two days of growth. And I have a feeling this will be one of those shaves that using these fantastic old blades, they just are really smooth, no resistance, no tugging, very comfortable. May end up with one of those Delightful safety razor shaves that makes babies gurgle with glee when they see me. Makes the ladies and some of the men 
my googly eyes. Clean shaven men tend to burst into applause and you walk by. Because they take one look and they know a superior shave when they see it. And guys with beards, they just go green with envy. And they question everything about their life. But that's a problem that's easily remedied. Yeah, there we go. I think a bit of touch up under here. Well, that is smooth, easy, no resistance at all. I'm going to lather up one more time and just do a really quick clean up pass, see what we got. I know this is going to look a little thin, but it feels very slick on the face, so don't worry about how light a layer that looks. Something else to remind people of is that you don't need one of these Father Christmas beard things for lather for to have a, a good a good slick shave. In fact, what I'll do is I'm going to add a little bit of water to that on purpose. That will look a little thinned out, but actually what it will do is make that nice and slick. All right, hope that, oh, oh, that almost slipped right off the counter again. All right, here we go. A bit of an against the grain buffing pass. Let's see what we got. Oh, very, very impressed with that soap. I can see why people bemoan its demise. Modern version might be a lot cheaper to make, but certainly in terms of performance, uh, no comparison, guys. No comparison. Well, nice. Quick rinse. <laughs> I like it, pretty good, nice stuff. Now if I get 30 shades off that blade, I don't think it's gonna happen for me. I usually get three Sometimes for rarely five shades out of something like a Bosch collar or off the repair blades. But let's say you can get 10. Well, 10 to 12 shades for me would be about two weeks. Two blades a month, that's a pretty good deal. Hmm. Wow. Pretty impressive shave right there. It's one of those things that you uh, love to hate and hate to love. Why won't this soap rinse off more? Come on! Time's a wasting. But it's a good sign. All right, now let's go ahead and lightly remove any soap residue. Well, 
And Moises Barrera knows full well there's only one way that this shave can really end. It's gotta be. And upside down. 444. Balm mixed. With your favorite aftershave. Which in my case is still almost still working through. This says 888, but it's actually the Razor Rock Baby Blue in the atomizer. Almost gone. Almost so close to having totally worked through that. It's got maybe three quarters of that little bottle left. And then that huge bottle gone. And you may be wondering what's next? What's after that? Well, two bottles of the Friedberg Splash which I've held on to until I start using the Friedberg soap. And that won't be until that shave stick is completely gone. And that's gonna take a little while, I think, because that soap, I bet, is gonna last a while. That's a good, hard shave stick. You don't use very much for shave, but you can see I didn't put that much on. Still got lather for four passes. Very, very impressive stuff. Well. I'll be quite sorry to see that go, but in the meantime, I'm going to really, really enjoy it because that's what is meant to happen. You know, if you want to have a museum copy, great, have one hidden away, power to you. Me, I have my vintage William Shave Stick going, actually in use. I'm gonna let it air dry for a little bit and then I'm gonna put the cap back on. Cap does screw on, it's a little hard at the very bottom to get it completely evenly, perfectly lined up, but once you do, it seals great after that. So that was the Williams Vintage Shave Soap, accompanied by these Persona blades, very, very smooth. We'll see, have to see how many uh, how many shaves you get out of it. I'll try to report back and let you know uh, how many times you're able to use a single blade. Well, ended with the 444 and some aftershave. There's another salute to Moises Barrera, who was kind enough to give me both the blades and the Williams Shave Stick. Fantastic stuff, really enjoyed that shave. Close, comfortable, easy. Mmm, so nice. Well, that's it for me again, guys. Until next time, thank you so much for watching, and uh, hope you have a fantastic week. Bye-bye.